The footage you're about to see was recorded with a hidden camera at Highline Hatchery in Iowa, the world's largest hatchery for egg-laying breed chicks. For two weeks, a Mercy for Animals investigator covertly documented the systemic cruelty chicks at this hatchery are subjected to. These workers, called sexers, roughly separate the male chicks from the females. These male chicks are worthless to the industry because they will not lay eggs and will not grow large or fast enough to be raised profitably for meat. These male chicks are killed by being dropped into a grinding machine while still alive. Such killing methods are standard within the industry. Nearly 150,000 male chicks meet their deaths this way each day at the facility. This machine uses a laser to remove part of the chick's beaks. Chicks are placed head first into this rotating machine. Birds' beaks are filled with nerve endings. This procedure can cause both acute and chronic pain. This industrial machine separates newly hatched chicks from their eggshells. Chicks are roughly dumped onto moving conveyor belts, which haul them off to be sorted, debeaked, and for the males, killed. Many chicks are injured and killed by the sorting machine. This chick fell through the sorting machine and was left to die in a heap of eggshells on the factory floor. Still alive, this chick fell through the sorting machine and was sent through a scalding wash cycle. Workers roughly handle the animals with little regard for their welfare. These workers roughly sort the chicks, searching for sick, injured, and deformed birds. The cruelty you have witnessed is not isolated, but rather inherent and widespread within the entire industry. Please remember these chicks the next time you sit down to a meal. You can help in this needless cruelty by adopting a compassionate vegan diet. For information on cooking without eggs, visit chooseveg.com.
We're in the manure pit of a battery hen shed where they um, dump the manure and the dying and dead hens. Um, while we were filming the pile of dead hens, we noticed one hen moving and um, pulled her out of the pile of rotting hens and she was still alive. She's just died.